This is Roy, and he's been living rent-free in New York City for over 30 years. It's a good deal. But he doesn't just live anywhere. His apartment is hidden inside King Manor, which was owned by Rufus King, who signed the US Constitution and advocated for the abolishment of slavery. New York City, this is what you want when you live here. So this has been the same way since you got here. 1989. Wow. And I have a dishwasher I've never used. Oh, really? Ooh, a pot scrubber 940. Today we're gonna learn how Roy got his place, what makes it so special, and if it's possible for all of us to get a free apartment in New York just like he did. What do you think, can I have it? No. Now, King Manor's not exactly in the middle of Manhattan. In fact, it's a little off the beaten path. Here we are in Jamaica, Queens. It's actually really nice here. And if we're here, King Manor should be right over there. Broadcaster for 30 years, caretaker of King Manor 34 years, you're looking at an 84-year-old human being who has never, ever worked a legitimate day in his life. Now that's not exactly true. Roy's got his work cut out for him because King Manor is a big place. Rufus King was born in 1755 and he was a framer and signer of the United States Constitution, a senator, a passionate anti-slavery advocate, and he and his family lived here at King Manor for over three generations. Now granted, being the caretaker does mean Roy gets to live in a secret apartment inside the manor, but it sure sounds like a legitimate job to me. King Manor is part museum and part full-time residence. And Roy is perfect for this, even when there's no Tour scheduled, he still explains everything here to anybody who walks by. That was you on the radio? Look at this. Wow! I have to ask, what happened? Nothing, same guy. Roy, do you have the biggest backyard of anyone you know? And an even bigger front yard. If you're gonna <laughs> live in New York City, this is the way to live. Why would you be surrounded with buildings and noise? And I don't know, I don't get that. Up with the chimneys, that's a bunch of fireplaces. Well, of course chimneys are up. Would you have a chimney down from the house? You have to come outside the door of the house and open that door there, which leads into the North Kitchen. And that's because when Rufus lived here, there was no electricity, there were no fans, there was no air conditioning. There was August heat. And as a result, the North Kitchen with the chimney at the far end to get the heat as far away as possible. 34 years. Roy, I see you've got the original Constitution right here. Well, it's not the original. It is the Constitution of the United States. <laughs> the original text. So, oh wow, you have these designs. The secret bookshelf. The big books here, the smaller books here, twice as many books in half the space. We have two original pieces, but how important. The desk of Rufus King, and upstairs you will see the desk of his son, the governor of New York, Governor John L. Sub King, a beautiful piece of furniture. Look at the details in this. They really don't make desks like this anymore. Look at that, it even has feet. So a cord would run across and come down. Okay. And that's how you would ring for the chef or the butler. Oh, this they're oh, the interesting. This is version of the internet. It doesn't cover quite as much ground, but it covers what needs to be covered. So you're telling me we've been bothered by notifications for thousands of years? Get over it, will you please? You know, but very well done. You see the wheels. This comes apart. You the table comes four, apart? In four different parts. Oh, it's got little wheels on it. That's cool. So after you've gotten everyone fed up, you take the table out, four different pieces. This is an early version of linoleum. You roll this up and get it out of here, and you have gone from a dining room to a ballroom. 
So it seems like in New York, no matter where people have been living, the apartments have always been too small. You've had multi-purposes for each room. Well, why not use them while they're there? That's true. Why waste you the space? You room and you never use it? That doesn't make a bit of sense. <laughs> Looks like we had a fireplace in here. That makes sense. There wasn't central heat back in the day. Beautiful looking chandelier. Roy, what room do we have here? This is a beautiful room. This is the formal living room. We would only have people in here when you were being very adult about things. Ah, so most of the time it was off limits. That is his wife, Mary King. There was 15 years difference between them, and that's 45-year-old uh, ambassador. Uh, he was called Minister, oh, great word, Minister Plenipotentiary. It's a <laughs> minister with unlimited power. This is the old kitchen. Well, yeah, but you can see where the open hearth was before this was put in. Wow. So this was, they built it into the fireplace. Oh, wow. What, what did you make of that? You make pancakes. Look at this. Those aren't that big. That's why we've gained weight in America. <laughs> Got a nice looking hole over here. Okay, what went on in this hole right here? Well, that's not what went on. This is brick oven pizza here. Oh. If we get a liquor license, a few tables and chairs outside, <laughs> and we can start to make some money for once in our lives. <laughs> so the two rooms that we have here, these two rooms, these were a prior two-story cottage. That's what this is. This would have been the kitchen. Okay. And that area there would be the living room. And this was a, another living room separate from the main living room in the house. This was built as a private house in the 1750s. this space next to the fireplaces so that you put your pillows and bed sheets and everything else keep them nice and warm. Oh, that's what this is for. Yes. This warms up your bedding because it's next to the fireplace. Fascinating. You were telling me this is the president's room. Because John Quincy Adams, who became president, came out here while he was running for the presidency and stayed here and slept overnight. It's a pretty good bathroom right here. It's like the bathroom in most New York apartments. You can do your business, wash your hands. Is this a sink? See, we're doing this with the old, the old folks too. It's not a bathroom, but it, it's where you pee. <laughs> If you are watching this and you're a historian and you know what this does, let me know. I thought it was to put hot coals under the bed, but I could be wrong. Rufus died in 1827. His son, John, lived here for 40 years. And that is a portrait of John Elsa King, Rufus King's oldest son. That's his son's desk right here. Yes. And this is an original piece. That is an original piece. The detail in this room is just absolutely mind-blowing. Like from the ceiling to the floors, there's just something going on in every single corner you look. John lived here from 1827 to 1867, and this is historic wallpaper we just recently put in. And mm. it's true in the president's room as well. I almost don't want to turn it on and off. Yeah, yeah they did it's a good so job. Great. Yeah. Now we're gonna see Roy's apartment, which is the third floor. You got the whole thing to yourself? No. About two thirds, the other part is where we keep all the stuff that we need to stash away. Welcome. That's the cat. She wants me. That's not the cat, it's super cat. She's waiting, I have to pet her. We do this every day. Really. Hey baby, say hello to Cash. How are ya? Okay. Will she get me if I try to pet her? No, of course not. She does. Aw, very friendly. Of course. Super cat. And these four volume, 4,000 books reflect my extended mind. You can tell every book I've read. Let me show you Rufus King's biography. 
Oh, in wow. 1968. And when I say I read, please notice. I not only read, I mark up, I dog ear, and the crazy thing Mary the, the ex told folks before she left, Fox can't remember a quote, but he can get up at three o'clock in the morning and go to a particular book and open it up and there's a dog ear and there's the quote he was looking for. <laughs> uh, there's religious, there's science, uh, there's world history. One section has got a volume of every king of England. This is your birthday at Yankee Stadium? Well, one of them. Rufus King and all your... That was four years ago. And I told my friend that did that for me, I said, 42,000 people, more people have seen Rufus King's name here today than all of the people that have lived since he died in 1827. <laughs> oh, you've got a great view. New York City, this is what you want when you live here. Whoa. The door yeah, we don't want the cat to get in. Well, there's a place you can slide down. I can't figure out how. To... This is like what, like a crawl space? That's where we are. Right? We're at right now. Well, we're not crawling, are we? No. Okay, then it can't be called crawl space. Can I live here so with you? Just, you call this living? This is the original outdoor of the 1780s building, and they also left us a window frame with smidgens of glass. Oh, wow. Going back. So this is 200-year-old glass. Yeah. Is that installation insulation safe? I have no idea. Well, oh, it's all right. I don't feel too bad. There was a fire in the basement in 1964 to show how badly the city handled this house. The fire went from the basement all the way up. Look at the burnt wood. Oh, wow. This is burnt from when there was an old fire. And this is the entire attic of the building. It's like all attic-y machinery stuff. Does this fan still work? <laughs> this is the bedroom. Oh, wow. It's awesome. And that's a king size bed. All of the books in this room are authors that have really made some way, shape, or form an important difference in my life. And um, you see these small baseball bats? Yep. I grew up with the Cubs before they learned to win. I was 15 before I realized you could win a game. I <laughs> thought you would just go to Wrigley Field and watch the vines grow. <laughs> and so there are 228 organized baseball parks in the country. That's major, minor, independent. I've got two more to go. Each bat reflects another stadium in this country. This is what happens when you have thoughtful friends. They do idiotic things. <laughs> I have air conditioning in this house. I don't need the fresh air, but that's Michael. This is your living room? It's my library. Ah, oh, okay. It would be my living room. I didn't have 4,000 books. 4,000 books. An incredible rainbow machine. We would broadcast from back here on in the incredible rainbow machine. That's in the inside. Awesome. This is 679. That's the, we carried the Pirates. They won the World Series that year. You were famous. People heard your voice every single morning. Every, Six to nine in the every single evening, excuse me. Okay, well, there is no excuse for you, but nevertheless. <laughs> I guess the kitchen has maybe been this way since you moved in. Did you make any changes to it? No. And you have a magic chef oven and it still fires up. I don't think I've ever used it. Really? I make the best <laughs> popcorn in the world. I buy the popcorn at Union Square. I buy the all white kernels and I make the popcorn the best. Wow. There's no better. Old school. That's it. And I have a dishwasher I've never used. Oh, really? Ooh, a pot scrubber 940. Yes. It probably still works, but you've never tried. Why wouldn't it work? It's never done anything. It's like me. I work, but not work. So how much money do you think you've saved not paying rent for over 30 years? It's a good deal, but there are 23 houses in the historic house system. And somebody along, this, along the way decided that rather than 24 hour a day security, to put private apartments in all these houses to create the visibility. And people ask me, well, how does that work out? And I told them, the talented people are on the second floor of King Manor. They're stuck with me. And whatever needs to be done, we get it done. Come see us. 
the website for King Manor is right here. You guys can book a tour. You can come here. You can meet Roy. You can check out this awesome piece of history. Come clean my apartment. Whatever it is you'd like to do. If I clean it, can I have it then or no? You heard the answer. <laughs>